I combined two of my favorite sauces into one and I came out with the most delicious dish. It is so good, savory, creamy, lovely flavored with shrimp and salmon. You're gonna love it. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how I make my shrimp and salmon in a lovely wine Parmesan sauce, which I know it sounds crazy because there was cream with seafood. This whole idea came from the fact that one night I wanted to make shrimp and I actually was making shrimp and salmon in like um, sort of like a piccata scampi sauce, right? And then as soon as I poured the wine in, I was like, oh, I really wish I would have made like a creamy Parmesan instead. So I combined the two and this dish was born. And from that point forward, we have been calling it our favorite salmon and dish recipe because the sauce is outrageously good spooned over I, I serve it with some green beans and then some rice pilaf the sauce spooned over the rice pilaf is to die for it is truly incredible so what i've got here i'm gonna make my sauce here but i'm gonna sear my shrimp and my salmon in my skillet here so i'm gonna just do a little bit of that if you wanted to you could sear your shrimp and salmon in the same pot that you're making the sauce in just take them out keep them to the side and then just go ahead build your sauce and then put the salmon in i'm not doing it that way just because I'm not, <laughs> doesn't really make a difference. Okay, for the sauce, what I've got in here is some olive oil and some garlic, obviously. Then you'll need some cherry tomatoes that I've halved, a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes. I've got fresh parsley, I've got fresh basil, I've got parm, I've got heavy cream, I've got some pinot grigio, I've got my coffee for the afternoon because let me tell you, it's been one of those weeks when I've been mommy and hard because I've got a four-year-old who just needs to get out and run around and be entertained and you feel me, so cheers to you. I hope you're having the coffee as well. Mm. So all I'm doing right now is waiting for this to come to a sizzle. It wants to start sizzling. It's gonna do its thing. In the meantime, I have some shrimp here, shelled and de -veined. I always place them on some paper towel or napkin or something to just absorb any excess moisture. And I also have some salmon fillets. We are having two friends over for dinner tonight, best friends. One of them is a little crazy about salmon, so we're gonna give them extra shrimps. Uh, so I've got three beautiful salmon fillets. So I'm, all I'm going to do in this skillet, get that on. I want that skillet to get nice and hot. All I'm going to do is season both sides of my shrimp. Well, right now I'm gonna do one side and now I'll do the other side when I put them into the skillet, you know? I'm gonna season everything with salt and pepper. I'm gonna cook these in batches. I'm going to sear everything in batches. That's literally all I'm going to do. And now we have those ready. I can't add everything in the skillet because then it'll just steam and become a steamy mess. So the garlic is becoming fragrant. It's doing beautiful things. By the way, this would be absolutely phenomenal over pasta, um, I mean really fantastic over spaghetti, this would be delicious. Um, I would up the wine and up the cream a little so you have a little bit more sauce, but this is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few bits of basil. This is gonna just start to build the sauce, right? Build that foundation. A little bit of parsley. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And I'm just gonna let these saute for a few minutes. I want the tomatoes to really start cooking down, breaking down and doing lovely things. And then as soon as the skillet is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shrimp. Not yet. I'll start with the shrimp and I will then just start to sear the shrimp and the salmon and I'll show you what the tomatoes look like when they're there. These look great. I ended up switching spots because I really wanted the intense heat for my big burner. So I've got my shrimps in. I'm gonna go ahead and add some wine, white wine please, a little pinot. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this reduce by half. That's pretty much all I've gotta do for now. Give myself it's a bit of tongue action. Let's see how these look. These look good enough to flip. 
because remember you're just searing them but you're gonna finish cooking them in the sauce so yeah that looks good I'm gonna go ahead and finish searing all of the shrimp and all of the salmon and I'm sure I will show you what it looks like when the salmon is in and then we'll move forward that looks perfect I'm gonna go ahead and add my cream like that and add a little bit more this is so good you're just gonna have to trust me and now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this with just a tiny bit of salt knock it back down on low and keep it there until I need it until the salmon is seared on both sides can I get it off of there put it season side down then I'll season the opposite side there we go I'm gonna season the side and this is literally gonna take two minutes per side it won't take very long at all and everything will be ready in about 10 minutes or so I have um, like I said I'm gonna serve this with rice pilaf and some green beans simple easy scrumptious delicious you're gonna love it you're gonna have to trust me the only thing I'm gonna do right now while I have just a few minutes is I'm just gonna use this little container that my sun-dried tomatoes were in and I'm gonna go ahead and just grate some parm salmon is beautifully seared I'm gonna go ahead and add actually I'm gonna add my parm to my sauce stir it in this is so good. I cannot wait until you make this because you're gonna love it. Then you add your shrimps, as Papa Sal would say. Give those a little toss, right? And then I just kind of make like a little bed of shrimp. I'm gonna crank this up in a second anyway. Like that. Take your salmon that is gorgeous and seared. Place it kind of on top of the shrimp like that beautiful like that and then you're going to put a lid on and you're going to let all of this bubble together for five minutes that's it if that maybe even three minutes because the salmon and the shrimp are pretty much cooked you don't want to overcook them you just kind of want to meld everything with the sauce and then all i'm going to do is chop up some more herbs that's it. Remember what our friend Tony Soprano used to say? Bada bing, bada boom. Dinner's done. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. It gets real saucy when you add the shrimp and the salmon and it all starts to bubble together. I'm going to just cut the heat off now because I don't want the shrimp and the salmon to be overcooked. My mouth is watering. I cannot wait to serve this for dinner. I'm going to just steal a shrimp. I'll put that on my board like so like that oh it's hot it is hot 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 you need a little bit of that sauce and it is quite saucy because saucy because like I said I like to spoon the sauce over rice and I like to spoon it over the salmon and the seafood but mm. oh it's so good it's literally when you make it, you understand why we are crazy about it. I literally just married two recipes at one and it was the best baby. The best baby was born. The best baby recipe. And that's really interesting because that's how most really good recipes, you know, that's how they're developed. You know what I mean? You've got leftovers, you, you play around and then you create something magical. And that's how I feel about this one. You're going to love it. Go to laurainthekitchen.com for the written recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Oh, ashbe, ashbe. Ashbe. If you've been watching, you know that we recently uploaded this beautiful French bread recipe, right? Well, I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Go to laurainthekitchen.com for the written recipe. I'll see you next time.